go. Hey YouTube, this is JCT. I'm gonna be doing a deck review on Joel's uh, Beast deck, Shadow of the Burning Eye. So uh, here we go. First off, you have three key mouse effects. Basically, use these, summon these guys, Lock Hat. Add it to your hand when it's destroyed, you set them face down. Uh, Lock Hat's ability you can recycle key mouse, so just use it for synchros. Um, next, we got three, we got two chain dogs. Um, special summon them from the graveyard when you when you have two or more beast type monsters on your side of the field. Uh, easy eight, uh, easy eight star right there. But it has to be for beasts, so you go for the tricorn. Next, you got Songon. Uh, basically, just search out any monster you need. Two King Cabillos. Use them to search out your key mouses. From the graveyard. From the graveyard. Use their effects. Make sure you synchro that turn. You got two Egotistical Apes. Discard Green Baboon or whatever you need to. Activate their effects. Plus or minus their levels. You got two Mind Moles. Great for stall. Um, just make sure you, your opponent doesn't blow them up with their card effects. Uh... Pretty main cards of the deck, two green baboons. You need them from the graveyard to help you synchro summon. Also great beater. Thousand life points, not that bad of a cost. Next you got two hamsters. Hamsters, you flip summon them, you special summon level three or lower beast type monster and face down. Good if you want a lock cat or if you want a key mouse. Next you have your magic cards. You have two pot of avarice. This deck requires a lot of milling, so you're gonna need two pot of avarices to keep you busy. Keep your deck from going crazy. Next you got two MSTs, pretty basic staples. One Book of Moon, pretty mad they got limited, but hey, what can we do about it? Enemy Controller, keeping it at one. Use it for Sangon or uh, with Scapegoats, whatever you need. Scapegoat, yeah, pretty self explanatory. Use it with um, key card combos. Uh, Monster Reborn, pretty basic. Mind Control, use it for your opponent's synchros. You have Foolish, discarding either Key Mouse or you can use Green Baboon. Dark Hole, pretty basic. You got a Solemn. Mirror Force, two trap stones, anti OTKs. Uh, these are also great if you're trying to pull off an OTK. You want your opponent um, trying to negate all your stuff in the middle of a battle. You got three Super Rush Reckless Leaves, pretty much the main um, effects of the deck. You tribute a beast type, you destroy it, and then you. It's sort of like a Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. You just. Except instead of top decking, you put it, put it back in your opponent's deck. Uh, two Bottomless, pretty basic staples, and Torrential. Uh, Torrential is also pretty basic. You can use this to bring back a Green Baboon if you need to. Next, you have your side deck. You got one Gores. Pretty basic. You have one more Hamster in case you need to. Uh, Raiko, good for popping cards. Also, a Milling 3. Gives you an advantage for Pot of Avarice. Or, if you mill a Green Baboon, even better. It's a plus. Call the Haunted. Uh, not really necessary, but it's a good addition to the deck. And Pure Iron Wall. Uh, great for your... Your Voltic Bicorns, prevent them from being removed from play, pretty much destroy this entire deck. Two widespread wounds, sort of like Sakuretsu, but it goes after the big bosses. Smashing Ground gives you field advantage, pretty self explanatory. You have one giant Trunade, pretty self explanatory too. An enemy controller, an extra one just in case you need to, just in case you need it. And three prohibitions. If you played your opponent and you or you know what their deck is their deck is running, basically you can lock down their entire strategy. Like if you're going after Gravekeepers, you can lock down Necro Valley and Descendant. If you're going after Assault Moods, you can lock down Stardust, or the Assault Mode activates. If you're going after Six Sams, you can lock down Gateway or Xi'an. Pretty basic, uh, great staples, but nobody really uses them, because there's such a huge cost. Keeping your uh, field full. Next you have your Synchros, you got three Thunder Unicorns. Pretty basic, um, great against uh, Beaters. For every Beast type on your side of the field. Every card on your side of the field, Monster. Monster, yeah, every Monster on your side of the field. You take you take out 500 of their attack points, but the uh, only thing in exchange is you can't uh, attack with other monsters except for except for unicorn. And you got three Voltic Bicorns, the main card of the deck. This deck involves a lot of milling, so you're gonna need these guys. And to help support them from the graveyard, you have two Lightning Tricorns, also great beaters. When they're destroyed by an opponent's card effect like Torrential or Bottomless, you can have them bring back uh, your Bicorns. Next, you got two Ally of Justice Catasters. Uh, great against anti darks, good against Xi'an, uh, basically any uh, non dark type deck. Black Rose, pop the field, pretty self explanatory. Colossal, great against six Sams, against any other warrior decks also. And uh, pre pretty much recycles itself. And you got, lastly, you got three Gotems. Great Beat Stick, also level 9, it's pretty easy to synchro summon with this deck. And uh, that's about it. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace out.
Yo, he's the worst. 